Hey, Red Knights. This is our very first science lesson. We're going to kick off science with the lesson on motion. To get a better idea of what motion is, we're going to take a look at some vocabulary words. Let's get started. Our first word is position. Position. Position is the location of an object. So in this example, we have a person positioned at the back of the line. Over here, there is a tumbleweed positioned in front of me. Our second word is distance. Distance, yeah. Distance is the amount of space between two objects. In this example, where you start is a far distance from where you need to get to. And over here, you can see that I am a distance away from our red knight. Our next word is direction. Direction. Direction is the course or path on which something is moving. In this example, we have a compass showing us the direction that they need to go. Are they going to move north, east, south, or west? In this example over here, I'm lost and I don't know what direction to go in. Guess I could use this map over here. The next word is motion. Movimiento. Motion is a change in the position of an object. Over here, we see somebody moving their hand back and forth, making a waving motion. When you wave high or wave by to somebody, you are making a waving motion. Over here, I am showing motion by dancing around the radio. Our last word is speed. Velocidad. Speed is how fast an object moves over a certain distance over time. For example, the train is moving fast from one point to another point. They are trying to get to their next location quickly. And my little bitmoji here is running super fast. She's going at a high speed to keep up with that train. All right, boys and girls, we're going to hop on over to our science textbooks and we're going to read a little bit more about motion and the vocabulary words that we just learned. This chapter in our textbook is called Forces and Motion. The heading says position. In this picture, where is the boy in the purple shirt? He is next to the girl in the blue overalls. He is over the girl wearing the pink shirt. When you describe where something is, you describe its position. Position is the location of an object. You can describe something's position by comparing it to the position of other things. Words such as over, under, left, right, on top of, beneath, and next to give clues about position. You could say that the pencil sharpener is next to the classroom door, or you could say that the school cafeteria is to the right of the principal's office. When you describe the position of something, you compare it to objects around it. Caption. How can you describe the position of the girl in the pink shirt? 
Now let's read about distance. You can describe something's position by measuring its distance from other objects. Distance is the amount of space between two objects or places. Distance can be measured in inches, yards, or miles. In the metric system, distance is measured in millimeters, centimeters, meters, or kilometers. You can use a ruler or a meter stick to measure distance. Direction. When describing position, you must use both distance and direction. Distance tells how far one object or place is from another. Direction tells which way a line points from one object or place to another. The words north, south, east, and west tell direction. So do words such as left, right, up, down, forward, and backward? The position of the yellow sponge bear in this picture is to the right of the smaller metal bear. Caption. How can you describe the position of the smaller bear using distance and direction? Now let's talk about motion. Before we start reading about it, let's watch a quick video all about motion. We live in a fast paced world. Every day, people and things are moving all around us. But have you ever stopped to really think about how and why these things move? Let's slow things down and talk about motion. Motion is defined as the action or process of moving, changing place, or changing position. So, when an object is actively doing one of those things, it is said to be in motion. Notice how the horse in this video is moving in forward motion? When we slow this footage down, we can really see how much energy it's exerting to change its position. These girls are about to change their position too. Watch as they leap into motion and change position from the floor onto the bed. So on your mark, get set, let's go and learn about motion. That was a really cool video. Let's read a little more about motion. Look at the pictures of the dog below. To the left, you can see that the dog is on the ground. Next, you see the dog completely off of the ground. What happened to the dog? It moved. You know that the dog moved because its position changed. While an object is changing position, it is in motion. Motion is the process of changing position. So the dog went from here to here. This is the motion. It changed its position from here to the other side. There isn't really five dogs. This is just the same dog. They're just showing pictures of its motion. So how it came from this position to this position. Objects can move in different ways. Look at the chart on the next page. The bowling ball moves in a straight line. Objects can also move round and round, back and forth, or in zigzag pattern. The skater spins around and around. The snake moves on a zigzag path. It moves forward with short, sharp turns from one side to the other. The pendulum swings back and forth. Arrows show direction. Look at the arrows to find out about different types of motion. So again, over here, we have the bowling ball moving in a straight line. We have the skater moving round and round. The snake is moving in a zigzag. And the pendulum down here is moving back and forth. Why don't you stand up and move in those directions? Move straight, round and round, do a zigzag, now back and forth. 
Motion, measuring motion. Distance. You can measure the distance that an object moves. You measure the space between the object's starting position and its new position. Distant measures are units of length, such as feet, inches, or kilometers. You measure distance the same way you measure length using a tool such as a meter stick or a ruler. Time. Suppose it took you three minutes to walk from your classroom to the playground yesterday. Today, it took you five minutes to walk to the playground. You moved the same distance, but your motion today took more time. The time it takes to move a distance is part of the way you describe motion, which brings us to speed. Distance and time can be used to find speed. Speed is the measurement of how fast or slow something moves. An object that is moving fast goes a distance in a short amount of time. So the faster you move, the shorter time it takes you to get there. It takes a lot longer for a slower object to move to the same distance. So for an example, if you are having a race outside, if one of you runs slow and the other runs fast, who's going to get to the end of the race first? Well, it would be the fast person because they have more speed. Direction. Direction points out the path from one position to another. Suppose you walk from your classroom to the lunchroom. Later, you walk from your classroom to the music room. Both places are the same distance from your classroom. They both take the same amount of time. Is your motion the same both times? Even if the distance and time are the same, the motion is different. You walk different directions to the two rooms. The direction that something moves is part of the way you describe its motion. Predicting motion. Measurements of motion can help you predict future motions. Look at the picture of the girl on the swing. You can predict when she will change direction. You also can predict how much time it will take her to swing back and forth. Caption. Predict how this girl's motion will change next. Do you think she'll go forward or backward? All right, boys and girls, I hope you have enjoyed learning about motion. Go have some fun moving in different directions. Bye for now.